Welcome, movie buffs. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to revisit the classic comedy, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels and catch up with the talented cast to see what they're up to now. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is a comedy film released in 1988, directed by Frank Oz. It stars Steve Martin and Michael Caine as two conmen who compete to swindle wealthy women out of their fortunes on the French Riviera. Join us as we explore the careers of these iconic actors and celebrate the enduring legacy of this beloved film. First up, we have Steve Martin and Michael Caine, who stole the show with their hilarious performances as con men Freddie Benson and Lawrence Jameson. Their comedic chemistry and quick-witted banter kept audiences laughing from start to finish. Steve Martin as Freddie Benson. Born on August 14, 1945, in Waco, Texas, Steve Martin is a comedic genius whose talent knows no bounds. However, it was his role as the charismatic con artist Freddie Benson in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels that showcased his comedic prowess and solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood. Career Steve Martin's journey in the entertainment industry began with a passion for performing. From his early days as a stand-up comedian to his transition into film and television, Martin's wit and charm captivated audiences worldwide. His unique blend of physical comedy and clever wordplay set him apart from his peers, earning him critical acclaim and commercial success. In addition to Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Martin has delivered standout performances in films like The Jerk, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, and Father of the Bride, solidifying his status as a comedic legend. Most successful roles. While Steve Martin has showcased his talents in a wide range of roles, his portrayal of Freddie Benson in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels remains one of his most iconic performances. His ability to blend charm with mischief made him a standout in the ensemble cast, earning him widespread acclaim. Additionally, his roles in films like The Jerk and Father of the Bride have become beloved classics, earning him a permanent place in the hearts of audiences worldwide. Most prestigious awards. Steve Martin's talent has been recognized by numerous prestigious institutions within the industry. He has won multiple Grammy Awards for his comedy albums and received numerous nominations from the Academy Awards, Golden Globe Awards, and Emmy Awards for his work in film and television. Steve Martin is alive and well, continuing to entertain audiences with his remarkable talent and wit. Michael Caine as Lawrence Jameson. Born on March 14, 1933, in Rotherith, London, England, Michael Caine is a British acting legend whose career has spanned over six decades. However, it was his role as the suave and sophisticated con artist Lawrence Jameson in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels that showcased his ability to command the screen with charm and charisma. Career Michael Caine's journey in the entertainment industry began with humble beginnings, but his talent and determination quickly propelled him to stardom. From his breakthrough role in Zulu, to his iconic performances in films like The Italian Job, Alfie, and The Dark Knight Trilogy, Kane's magnetic presence and impeccable acting skills have made him one of the most respected actors in the business. Most successful roles. While Michael Kane has delivered countless memorable performances throughout his career, his portrayal of Lawrence Jameson in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels remains one of his most beloved roles. His effortless charm and sophistication made him a standout in the ensemble cast, earning him widespread acclaim. Additionally, his roles in films like The Dark Knight and The Cider House Rules have garnered him critical acclaim and multiple awards, further solidifying his status as a cinematic icon. Most prestigious awards. Michael Caine's talent has been recognized by numerous prestigious institutions within the industry. He has won two Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor, one for Hannah and Her Sisters, and the other for The Cider House Rules. Additionally, he has received nominations from the Golden Globe Awards, BAFTA Awards, and Screen Actors Guild Awards for his work in film. Michael Caine is alive and well, continuing to captivate audiences with his remarkable talent and presence on screen. Glenn Headley as Janet Colgate. Born on March 13, 1955, in New London, Connecticut, Glenn Headley was a talented actress whose career spanned both stage and screen. Despite her untimely death, her legacy lives on through her memorable performances, with one of her most successful roles being Janet Colgate in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Career Glenn Headley's journey in the entertainment industry began with a passion for acting that led her to study theater and pursue roles in stage productions. 
she quickly caught the attention of casting directors and landed her first major film role in, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, where she portrayed the charming and unsuspecting Janet Colgate. Headley continued to impress audiences with her performances in films like, Dick Tracy, Mr. Holland's Opus, and, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. Most Successful Roles While Glenn Headley had many notable roles throughout her career, her portrayal of Janet Colgate in, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, remains one of her most beloved performances. Her ability to capture the innocence and vulnerability of the character made her a standout in the ensemble cast, earning her critical acclaim. Most Prestigious Awards Glenn Headley's talent was recognized by her peers in the industry, earning her nominations for various awards throughout her career. While she did not win any major awards, Headley's contributions to film and television were widely acknowledged, and she was respected as a talented and versatile actress. Tragically, Glenn Headley passed away on June 8, 2017, at the age of 62, due to complications from a pulmonary embolism. Anton Rogers as Inspector Andre. Born on January 10, 1933, in Wisbeck, Cambridgeshire, England, Anton Rogers was a British actor known for his versatile performances on stage, screen, and television. Throughout his illustrious career, he portrayed a wide range of characters, but it was his role as Inspector Andre in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels that showcased his talent for bringing charm and wit to the screen. Career Anton Rogers' journey in the entertainment industry began with a passion for acting that led him to study at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He made his stage debut in the West End production of No Time for Sergeants and quickly gained recognition for his talent. Rogers went on to enjoy a successful career in both theater and television, appearing in numerous productions and earning acclaim for his performances. Most Successful Roles While Anton Rogers had many notable roles throughout his career, his portrayal of Inspector Andre in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels remains one of his most memorable performances. His comedic timing and affable demeanor made him a standout in the ensemble cast, earning him praise from audiences and critics alike. Most Prestigious Awards Throughout his career, Anton Rogers received nominations for various awards, including the BAFTA TV Award for Best Actor for his role in the television series, Fresh Fields. On December 1, 2007, Anton Rogers passed away at the age of 74 due to a heart attack. Barbara Harris as Fanny Eubanks. Born on July 25, 1935, in Evanston, Illinois. Barbara Harris was an American actress known for her quirky charm and versatility on stage and screen. Throughout her career, she captivated audiences with her unique blend of humor and vulnerability, but it was her role as Fanny Eubanks in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels that showcased her talent and charisma. Career Barbara Harris's journey in the entertainment industry began with a love for performing that led her to study at the esteemed Second City Improvisational Theater in Chicago. She made her Broadway debut in the musical, From the Second City, and quickly gained recognition for her comedic talents. Harris went on to enjoy a successful career in both theater and film, earning acclaim for her performances in productions such as, Nashville, Family Plot, and, A Thousand Clowns. Most Successful Roles While Barbara Harris had many notable roles throughout her career, her portrayal of Fanny Eubanks in, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, remains one of her most beloved performances. Her infectious energy and comedic timing made her a standout in the ensemble cast, earning her praise from audiences and critics alike. Most Prestigious Awards Barbara Harris received nominations for several prestigious awards throughout her career, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in, Nashville. She also received a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical for her performance in, The Apple Tree, on Broadway. Barbara Harris passed away on August 21, 2018, at the age of 83 due to complications from lung cancer. As we conclude our journey through the lives and careers of these talented actors from, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, we hope you've enjoyed this nostalgic look back at their remarkable contributions to the world of entertainment. From Anton Rogers' charm as Inspector Andre to Barbara Harris's quirky charisma as Fanny Eubanks, and Ian McDermott's captivating presence as Arthur. Each actor brought something special to the screen, enriching the cinematic experience for audiences worldwide. Now it's your turn to join the conversation. We want to hear from you. Share your favorite moments, memorable quotes, and thoughts on these incredible actors in the comments below. 
Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel for more retrospectives on your favorite films.